Hello, I'm Brett Knowles from PM2 Consulting. This vignette provides a brief overview of our best practices for helping organizations select performance indicators from a long list of available performance metrics. Overall, we need a quick framework. Many of our clients we've observed have tried to use the SMART metaphor for identifying metrics. The dilemma is SMART is intended as a compensation tool. It's looking for things which are attainable, which are measurable. Many of these things are not the characteristics of a strategic objective. Things like employee satisfaction or increased market penetration may be measurable, but at great expense. We're looking for indicators that are indicative of how well the organization is performing against those targets that we can get on an ongoing basis. We've modified the framework to be perfect. We're looking for the perfect performance indicator. Let's take a look at each of the elements, a proxy. We would like to test the potential indicators to see whether they're a proxy for the overall performance. Are they indicative of what's happening? So a great example might be employee satisfaction is a concern, but we could use an indicator like absenteeism as a proxy for the overall employee satisfaction. Now, that indicator of absenteeism doesn't predict what's broken. It could be the pay scale, it could be the boss, it could be the culture, it could be the environment. We don't need five or ten metrics to capture off each of the possibilities. The one proxy covers them all. But more importantly, it's existing. The data is already collected and available. Edward de Bono describes uh, information is the same data but in a new context. Using something like absenteeism, it allows us to use existing data to tell us new information. The indicator also has to be reliable. As the indicator changes, so should have the underlying process. In my example of absenteeism, if employees are unhappy but absenteeism remains the same, then absenteeism is no longer a reliable indicator for that strategic objective. Fast, which is perhaps the most important criteria here, the data needs to be available within a day or two of month end. We don't want to be obligated, as we are in financial indicators, waiting for month end allocations and reconciliations. That delay stammies leadership's ability to be agile in the marketplace. The indicators need to be empowering. We need to make sure that the indicator creates a risk-free environment where we can't identify specific individuals or teams that might be responsible for that performance. In this way, everyone can use that performance metric. To do that, it should be cross-functional. An indicator like absenteeism covers the scope of different processes within leadership, compensation, culture, environment, and so forth. And because it's cross-functional, it's empowering. But more importantly, because it's cross-functional, it forces organizations to take a broader look at potential issues. Finally, it needs to be trusted. The organization needs to accept the accuracy and reasonableness of this data so that they can use it as a reasonable metric going forward. More can be learned about this concept and others by going to pm2consulting.com.